Michelle, Mike the Devil, Jenna, Italian pronunciation, me, modifier letter vertical line, K, Latin small letter open A, modifier letter triangular colon, lay, modifier letter vertical line, D, Latin small letter S, Latin small letter open A, na, January 18th, 1895, June 13th, 1925, was an Italian born mobster in Chicago during the 1920s. He headed the Jenner crime family with his brothers. He was killed by police officers after a shootout with Northsiders, being one of the only American organized crime leaders to be killed by a policeman. Early life Michelle Jenner was born on January 18, 1895 in Marsala, Sicily. Jenner's parents, Antonino Jenner Sr. and Maria Concetta Utica, had six other sons, Antonio, the gentleman, Angelo, Bloody Angelo, Vincenzo, Jim, Pietro, Peter, Salvatore, Sam, and Nicola Jenna, who stayed in Sicily, and two daughters, Rosa Laudicina and Caterina Mariana. He and his brothers entered the U.S. through New York around 1910. Prohibition and Ozbanion, the Jinnas became a close-knit Marsala-based mafia and bootlegging gang. In 1919, the gin has obtained a federal license to legally manufacture industrial alcohol, which they sold illegally. Angelo and his brothers operated from Chicago's Little Italy, which was located west of the Chicago Loop. They started selling their extra alcohol at cut rate prices outside of their territory. This caused a problem with the Northside gang leader Dino Banion, who went to Southside gang leader John, Johnny the Fox, Torrio and Uni1 Siciliana boss Mike Merlo to get the Jennas to back down. When Torrio refused, Banion began hijacking shipments of alcohol belonging to the Jenna brothers. On November 3, 1924, Dino Banion inadvertently signed his own death warrant during an argumentative phone call to arch-rival Angelo Genera. Their disagreement originated at the ship, the gambling casino that the Northside gang boss owned along with the Torrio Syndicate. On this day, O'Banion sat in with Al Capone, Frank Nitti, Frank Rio, and others to tally the week's profits. It was mentioned that Angelo Genera had dropped a large amount of cash, plus a sizable marker. Capone recommended that they cancel the marker as a professional courtesy. Obanion, instead, got Jenna on the telephone and demanded that he pay his debt within a week. With this personal insult, Angelo Jenna and his family could no longer be restrained. Until then, Merlo and the Uni-1 had refused to sanction a hit on Obanion. However, Merlo had terminal cancer and died on November 8th. 1924. With Merlot gone, the Jennas and South Siders were free to move on Obanion. Torrio ordered the Jennas to murder Obanion. The brothers carried out the hit on November 10, 1924. Francesco Iol and two Jenna hit men, Giovanni Scalisi and Alberto Anselmi, entered Obanion's flower shop, Schofield. And when Yale and Obanion shook hands, Scalisi and Anselmi fired two bullets into Obanion's chest and two into his throat, and one of them fired a final bullet into the back of his skull as he was lying on the floor, face down. Gang war and death after Obanion's death, the Northsiders, now led by Henry Earl Jaime Weiss, attempted to kill Torrio outside his home on January 24th. 1925, causing Torrio to flee to Naples, leaving his top bouncer, Alphonse Scarface Capone, in charge of the outfit. On May 26, 1925, Weiss, Vincent, the schemer, Druxy, and George Bugs Moran shot and killed Angelo Jenna in a high speed car chase. On June 13, 1925, Jenna, Scalisi, and then Selmy had a shootout with the Northsiders. After the shootout, the three men were chased by Chicago police detectives Michael Conway, rookie William Sweeney, Officer Charles Walsh, and another officer, Harold Olson. The three opened fire on the policemen killing Walsh and Olson and wounding a third officer. Police shot Jenna in the leg, severing an artery. Jenna died in an ambulance after he kicked an officer in the face. 
funeral Jenna's family had planned for his funeral to be lavish like his late brother Angelo's funeral, but the funeral was quick and quiet due to the two policemen he killed. Police spread a word that they would arrest any gangster attending. No gangster attended, not wanting to be identified as one at his funeral and connected with the crime. Aftermath on July 9, 1925, Jenna's brother Antonio was ambushed and killed by a Jenna trader on orders of Moran and Weiss. After Antonio's death, the three remaining Chicago brothers, Sam, Jim, and Peter, fled Chicago, leaving the Jenna territory to be taken over by Joe Aiello and his brothers, then by the outfit. References External links Mike, Mike the Devil, Jenna at Find a Grave, Charles Dion Obanion at Find a Grave, The Dino Banion Project at Dino Banion.